Hello, kumusta? Mali ga yang pagbabalik sa akin channel. While I still have your attention, I'd like to thank you all for watching this telenovela with me until the end because today we will be reacting to episode 52 according to Netflix of the telenovela Maria Clara at Ibarra which is the last episode and this episode lasts more than an hour and hopefully we will get some answers but yes, I would like to thank you for watching it with me it's been an honor, you know, to uh, share it with you guys and also to be part of Filipino history just a little bit. To be honest with you, I really, really, really enjoyed the first book, which was almost the entirety of this show. You know, it's at least 75% of the show. I really liked the characters, except for the priests, obviously. Uh, I really enjoyed the atmosphere, the ambiance, even the way uh, the GMA network filmed the, the telenovela, you know? It, they gave it like such a warm uh, atmosphere, like warm colors. It was just lovely. I had a lot of fun. It took a long time. Uh, you guys told me that we started reacting to this in December of last year. So this lasted more than six months, which is a long time. And I'm glad that I stuck with it. I don't know if I'll ever do something like this again on this channel because it took a lot of energy, a lot of dedication with not much return, you know, because I obviously the views did not follow, but I still loved sharing it with the ones that, you know, stuck with it. I loved reading your comments. I loved reading your uh, messages on Instagram, giving me extra information about the show. And I'm not even mad at those who spoiled some things for me. It's okay. I know it, it comes from a place of excitement really so it was a lot of fun and it just made me fall in love even more with the philippines and it made me understand the philippines and filipinos a little bit better okay so thank you so much i think now it is time to uh, react to the last episode number 52 but before we start i would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel and of course uh, smashing that like button and of course make sure to follow me on Instagram at music game news because that is where you can DM me your suggestions and I'm not gonna make any promises but maybe in the future I will react to a Filipino movie that is a possibility I don't know about TV shows anymore because like I said they are way too long they require too much energy you know but a movie, I'd like to try to react to a movie on this channel. So maybe in the future, I have a couple in mind. So Four Sisters and a Wedding and General Luna. I am leaning more towards Four Sisters and a Wedding because General Luna is also very tied to history. And we've just reacted to a huge telenovela that's very much tied to history. So just to change it up a little bit, to shake it up, maybe we should react to something more current, more recent, and I think that's Four Sisters and a Wedding. All right, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Is she gonna be able to convince him? Aww. Just go with her, man. You'll love it. Hindi pa ako makaling si Mama sa'yo, binibinig lang eh. 
ka pa maaaring iwan ng mundong ito. Hanggat hindi pa namin ay paglalaban ang kalayaan ng bayang. He hasn't fulfilled his purpose yet in this world. Sinasakit ng mga dayuhan. Patawad din ni Clay. Are they gonna kiss? Bakit hindi ko pa maaaring iwan ang sugutan kong sinilangan. On the mouth? They have to, right? Because they haven't so far. Ngayon, alam ko na kung bakit hindi nakasulat ang pangalang Fidel sa unang version ng novela. Why? Tell us. Marahil ay nasa puso mo. Oh! <laughs> oh, bukod doon. Playa, he's still a player. Sa tagal ng pananatili ko rito, natutunan ko na marami ng mga bayani na hindi nakasulat ang pangalan sa kasaysayan. Yeah. Marahil ay isa ka doon. Unsung heroes. Pero hindi man nakasulat ang mga pangalan niyo, hindi na nahimik. Nanindigan pa rin. At patuloy na lumalaban. At patuloy kaming lalaban binibiniglay. Magiging malaya ang bayang ito. Lahat ay gagawin ko upang mabawi ang storya ng ating bayan. Kapag nabawi na namin yun, hahanapin kita. Okay. Alright. Mute the audio. Unfortunately, they're playing copyrighted music. Every time with these two, they play copyrighted music. Uy. Kiss! Come on! Come on! Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, come on. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Let's go, Miss Simpantes. Are you freaking kidding me? Are, are they gonna pull the exact same thing as they did for the first book? Hell no! They can't. No. If she's not gonna see him ever again. Good question. May dahilan at pagkakataon ang lahat. Don Fidel de los Reyes, I. Magnipon. I. Magnipon. Vamos. Miss Maria Clara Infantes. Hey! It's Ali! Okay. He left them alone for the kiss. Ikaw nang magbabu para sa akin sa akin lahat. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Grab her and kiss her. Pita. Very much. No, 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 kiss! This sucks. This sucks. They deserve a kiss. I don't care. Wow. Come on, writers. Come on. Come on. Yes. 
Yes. Is that on the mouth? I can't tell. I think so. No, she kissed him on the on the cheek. Is that on the cheek? That is so disappointing. Honestly, if that's on the cheek, that's so disappointing. Don't don't come at me with excuses for the reason as to why they didn't kiss, you know? Oh, because in the Philippines we're like, I don't know. We don't show that kind of stuff. Well, Crisostomo and Maria, they did kiss on the mouth, so why couldn't they? Oh boy, that is anticlimactic. I don't think she kissed him on the, on the mouth. It was like on the side, right? Like maybe here? Nah. Is she a prude? Play. Oi, 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 oi. Rahil, sa ilalim ng tubig. Tubig! Water. Hindi nito mababaluktot ang tuwid. Hindi maririnig ang tawag ng kasakina. Is he throwing away gold? Kisustomo's fortune? Kapag ikaw ay kakailanganin sa mga hangaring banal at dakila. Look at the sun in the real world. It's so strong, right? It's gonna be like, why are you dressed like this? They make it feel like she has no friends in uh, in the real world except for that girl. It's time to make friends in the real world, girl. It's time to uh, fix things in, in your life, Clay, like in the real world. Time to get your degree, find a good job as a nurse, fix things up with your dad. Help your mom get rid of your stepdad. <laughs> you know? Nakabalik na nga ako. Tapos na ang kwento. It's over. Vince Carter move over it's over after he did like the 360 dunk or like 360 and windmill dunk yo I'm gonna have to mute a lot of parts of this episode they're playing the uh, intro music right now
Whoa, 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 what's going on? Did she kick him out or did he kick her out? What? Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. That, that ain't gonna fly. He hit her again? Shut up. Good, he's leaving. Your time is up. Yes. Umalis ka na. Umalis ka na. Get up. Do it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. The hardest part is done. Come on, breathe. You took care of things. Good. I'm proud of you. Her mom is so cute too. Usa. There we go. <laughs> of course, that was coming. Pinagmamalaki ko na ni kita. At yung takot na nararamdaman niyo. Walang sinabi yon sa pagmamahal natin. Yeah. At sa pag-asa may ibubuti pa ang buhay natin. Babae ka ma. Babae tayo. Tao tayo. Malakas tayo. Malakas ka. Absolutely. Yeah, look at the fists. <laughs> Take them. Where'd you come from? Hangin na lang kami mo alam. Wisdom. Quotable quotes. Epek naman po, di ba? Natutunan ko sa... Rosary Sal. Librong nabasa ko. I said Rosy? No. Jose. Rosary Sal.
disappear. You did it! Wow! I'm so proud. <laughs> nice. I'm enjoying this episode because it's not one of those episodes where it drags and then they show you flashbacks. I mean, we're not done yet, but still, I feel like things are moving at a decent pace. Because they have to, right? They have to wrap things up. Oh, please. No flashbacks. No, 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 no. It's not necessary. We have spent a hundred and... four episodes... in the books. It's time for the real life. She has the picture! My gosh, that's so weird! It's, ugh, it's so weird that... You know, that she can actually have that picture in the real world. Here we go, another flashback. We literally just saw this! Literally! It's not on the mouth, right? It's not, it's not, it's not. Hey, book report <laughs> by Maria. Infantes. Noong pinabasa sa akin ang no limitang hire ni Mr. Torres, ang sabi ko, bakit pa? Hindi ko si maintindihan kung paano makakatulong sa akin maging skillful sa pagdadress ng wounds at sa pagkakabit ng IV sa isang pasyente like a pro ang pagbabasa ng noli. Kaya walang nangyayari sa bayang ito. Dahil sa mga Pilipinong kagaya mo na walang pakailam sa totoong istorya ng kasaysayan. <laughs> Yan tayo eh. Kung hindi walang pakaela, either kinalimutan na lang, na-distort ang pagkakaalam rito, o sadyang hindi na lang pinahalagahan. Ah, she's so bored! Eh, diba? <laughs> Pero, yung pala, bago mo questionin ang halaga na mapag-aralan ng ating kasaysayan, Mahalagang magbasa muna. Manaliksik. Tsaka humusla. Kaya nung pumasok ako sa... Hmm? Nung nabasa ko, ang mga nobela ni Rizal, to be honest, hindi lang kasaysayan natin ang natutunan ko. Natutunan ko ang tunay na meaning. True meaning of love, of friendship, of this and that, right? Ng pagmamahal. There we go. <laughs> Sakripisyo. Sakripisyo. Pagmamasakit ng walang hinihiling na kapalit. Babae man, o lalaki, bata man o matanda, nakapag-aral, o kahit hindi, may pera o wala, lahat tayo dapat pantay-pantay. Kailangan meron tayong lakas sa isip at puso natin para ipaglaban ang kapakanan at mga buhay natin. walang halaga sa ating history 
at lalo na ang pag-distort ng ating kasaysayan. Pwede mag-revise. Pero, base sa katotohanan natin. Base sa pagnanais mong maitama ang mali. Basta't mailabas mo ang katotohanan at karapat dapat. Laban lang. Kahit babae ka, laban lang. Dahil hindi man tayo ang Diyos, tauhan lang tayo. Hindi man natin kontrolado ang lahat, tayo ay mga bida sa sarili nating kwento. May kapit pa rin tayo sa kapalaran natin. Kahit magpalit-palit man ang nakaupo sa kapangyarihan ng mga buhay natin. Dahil kung hindi tayo matututo sa ating kasaysayan, kung hindi tayo lalaban para umunlad ang ating mga sarili at ating kapwa, hindi natin maisasaayos ang ating kasalukuyan. Hindi tayo makakalikha ng maunlad na kinabukasan para sa ating lahat. Kaya nung... Now they're paying attention. Natapos kong basahin ang mga nobela ni Rizal. Mr. Torres, mali ako. Tama ka. Tama ka. Merong koneksyon ang pag-aaral ng history, And medicine, Philippine culture, at ng kwento nating mga Pilipino sa course nating nursing. In nursing program, okay. Sa buhay ko, bilang isang anak, kapatid, estudyante, bilang isang tao. At ang pinakamahalaga bilang isang Pilipino. Beautifully said, Clay. Infantes. Mr. Torres, can I go back into another book now? Maybe one that occurs in the future? Sci-fi book? <laughs> Hi, I am addicted Torres. to it. Miss Maria Clara Infantes. Mr. Torres? <laughs> ano pong meron? May bagong libro ba kayong ipapabasa sa akin? Hindi pa ba ako kota? O baka hindi pa enough yung nilagay ko sa book report? Pupunin ko na ang El Telegusturismo na libro. <laughs> It's time for someone else to jump into the book. That would be interesting if someone else goes into the book, finishes it just like Clay, and then they have a talk about it and see if their experiences are similar or not, you know? See their approach to history. Ng iyong kwento. At ito naman ang tunay na kwento. Oh. Oh. Ang totoo, hindi na natin mababago pa ang kwento ni Jose Rizal. Tulad ng hindi na natin mababago ang nakaraan. So ano pa pong point na mga pinagkakagawa ko sa libro kung walang nang bago? <laughs> Natuto ka. Nung pumasok ka sa libro ni Jose Rizal, ano ito sa'yo? Panaginip o totoo? You've, 
You understand now that I really don't like flashbacks. Wes, yun ang kabuluhan ng lahat ng ito. Nabago ka nito. Mr. Torres is At a boss. I like the, his look. Tabuhan. Sa bersyon ng mundong kinathamo para sa kanila. His glasses are awesome. When I'm that age, you know, Mr. Mr. Torres' age, I will get glasses like that. Just tiny like this. <laughs> Oh boy, I didn't think that this episode was going to be a flashback episode. It's it's unfortunate. I spoke too soon. Para sa yata ito. Her grades. Oh. Maria Clara's necklace. Queen <gasps> Pasti Maria Clara. <laughs> okay, that made me emotional. <laughs> You have passed. Dalisay at walang batik dapat ang alay upang tanggapin ang paghahandog. Ano man ang pagbabagong kinahantungan, naway tanggapin mo ang handog ko sa'yo mula kay Maria Clara. Oh, wow. Para kay Maria Clara. Nagmamahal at namamahalam. That's awesome. So it's from Chrysostomo. Chrysostomo oh. Ibarra. I love that he did not sign it as Simun, the brown cardinal, but Chrysostomo Ibarra. That had an effect on me. Isuot mo yan. Proudly. Ang mga kwentong naranasan mo. Tingin nyo kami! 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 Yeah. Itanim mo dyan ang mga tauhang minahal mo. Oh, I have to mute this audio. They're playing copyrighted music. Makes sense, it's the last episode. At maging bahagi sila ng iyong pagkatao. And I'm... You know, I don't mute it because of monetization, to be honest. It's because the video gets actually blocked. It's 
been a lot of pain. Suffering. And a great pleasure and honor learning with you, Mr. Donis. Congratulations. Pasado pa na. Yay! <laughs> Baka marcha ka na. Yes! <laughs> Congratulations. Binibining Maria Clara Infantes. Binibini. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Congratulations, Anna. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. I hope they're gonna show us her friend, you know, as well in this last episode. And her brother, Elias. <laughs> yeah, where is he? So my big is saying final exam status sa graduation mo. Wala ako problema. Mama yada na natin. Tis ka inta isa pa. Her dad isn't there. Look. Look. Sino yung naanap mo? Papa mo? Let's just make a phone call. Ba na pupunta ka ngayon? Ah, uh, hindi po. Napadaan lang ako. Nasa area kasi ako eh. Okay, ah... Uh, gipit ka ba ngayon? Kailangan ko ba ng pera? Ah, uh, hindi, hindi po. <laughs> Yun lang po ba yung tingin niya sa akin? Kasi sa bagay, mabibilang lang naman sa mga daliri sa isang kamay kung ilang beses lang po akong lumapit sa inyo. At laging pera pa yung rason, no? Clay, may pupuntahan kasi ako eh. Ano ba kailangan mo? Kailangan ko po. Kailangan ko pong sabihin sa inyo na hindi kita kailangan. Ano? <laughs> Sorry po. Ang totoo po niyan, may iba talaga akong pinraktis na speech papunta dito. <laughs> Ang totoo po niyan, sinadya ko talaga kayo. Pero, di bali na. Ang gusto ko pong sabihin sa inyo, bukod sa bariyang kailangan ko pang ilimos sa inyo, kinaya ko. Okay. Hindi kita kailangan. Hindi kita kailangan para lumaki ako ng maayos. Hindi ka namin kinailangan ni Mama noong mga panahong naghihirap kami. Nakasurvive kami. At lalong hindi kita kinailangan para makauwi at malagpasan ko ang lahat ng pinagdaan ko sa San Diego. San Diego? <laughs> erase, erase. Basta po, hindi kita kailangan. Dahil sa totoo lang po, may minsan hindi ko naman naramdaman na nandyan kayo para sa akin. Ouch. Ouch. That's sad. So, kinaya ko lahat. Kinaya namin ni Mama na kaming dalawa lang. 
kinaya ko pong matustusan ang sarili kong pag-aaral. Kinaya ko pong makapagtapos nang wala ka. At ngayon, kagraduate po ako ng nursing nang wala ka. Whew. Graduate ka na? na sinasabi mong nangyari sa buhay mo, kinaya ang lahat. <laughs> Wala po to dapat sa speech ko, pero naging strong girl po ako. Mm -hmm. Pero sa totoo lang po, ang hirap-hirap mabuhay ng ganito. <laughs> ang hirap-hirap mabuhay na... Galit ako sa inyo, pero sa totoo lang, namumulila ako sa pagmamahal ng isang ama. Gusto ko meron akong tatay na yayakap sa akin. O kaya kahit simpleng good job, anak. Mas so, tingin ko, deserve ko naman, di ba, pa? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maasa pa rin po ako na may magbabago pa sa atin. Man, her father must feel like crap right about Sige now. Pipigil na po ako. Sorry po. I'm proud of you, Clay. She is a changed woman from the first episode to this episode, right? The final goodbye. Yes. Okay, so that happened before. That's why she said I will be graduating. Yeah. But she still had hope, huh? That he would show up. Yeah, it's too bad. I guess he really considers her okay. as a mistake. Oh! Alright! It still doesn't excuse his shitty behavior for years, but... That's nice. I hope he's there with the... With good intentions. All right, she got a hug. All right, we got a happy ending. Congratulations again. Thank you, sir. Pa? Pa? Si Mr. Torres po. Professor ko sa Philippine Studies. Pinabati ko po kayo dahil dito sa anak niyong si Clyde. Proud po ako sa batang ito. <laughs> Salamat po. Ah, o nga pala. Nagpunta lang ako dito para ibigay itong graduation na gift mo. May ganun pa, sir? Naku! Ano na naman tau, baka kung kanino galing ito, ha? O edi buksan mo. The National Students College. Hey! Medical Scholarship Abroad? Nakahanap ako ng scholarship program 
at nagawang ko naman ng uh, paraan. Nice! Pinadala ko yung mga records mo. At uh, naku, napakaraming rekomendasyon ng school admin, pati ng mga professors mo. Ay, ayan. Makakaipo ka ng pera doon nang maipadala mo sa pamilya mo. At sana, Man, a lot of Filipinos do that. Ipong kaalaman na maipabalik sa pamilya. More to you guys. It's difficult. Excited ako na patuloy mong gamutin at mahilong ang bayang ito. Future Doktora Maria Clara Pinkartes. <laughs> ako, sir? ay talaga kung saan-saan yung ko dinadala. Pero kahit saan man ako magpunta, uuwi at uuwi ako. Yay! You heard that? <laughs> oh, I love! <laughs> Even if you leave, you know, your home country, you will always come back. You always, you know, go back to your roots, no matter what. You know, so, I live now in Canada, sabihin, but... Walang saisay para sa'yo ang pagbabasa ng noli. Yeah. Kung nagbigay sa atin ng napakalaking mm. ambag sa struggles natin as a Pilipino, isubmit mo sa akin ang book report. At itong basahin mo. The... <laughs> Mas ka sa now it's ito. a guy that Dahil will go in the book. Lang yan sa mundo na kinatha ni Jose Rizal nang matutunan mo ang buong pangyayari. Oh my God. So yeah, I was saying, I'm sure when I'm a lot older, I will go back to Algeria to live there. You know, go Sir, back to my roots. La emergencia. Eh? Sang libro. Sa ibang mandala Which dito. book? Bueno, kasama mo na ba yung iba? Ah! Alalayan nyo. Papakita <laughs> lamang kayo sa mga tauhan. This is a universe. Matanda na ako sa ganitong mga biyahe. Ah! Oh my god! This is cool! <laughs> what? Good. Seven years later! Mabuti naman, nag-stabilize na ang WBC niya. Oh, Ooh, sige. look Dadana at sexy Clyde! Okay? See <laughs> Thank you, Dai. See you later, Mayor Stacy. So they're like um, keepers of books or something like that. They make sure everything goes well when, you know, students go in in, in the books. Kaya walang nangyayari sa bayang ito. Dahil sa mga Pilipinong kagaya mo na walang pakailam sa totoong istorya ng kasaysayan. Truth be told, sir. Ang hirap-hirap mahalin ng Pilipinas. Kaya sa totoo lang, wala po akong balang magtrabaho dito pagka-graduate ko. At pag nakaalis ako dito, hindi-hindi na ako babalik. Do you think is that that's a sign? Like, ooh, we may make another telenovela about another book? Yeah, her speech changed, of course. Very elegant. She went back to the nursing school, eh? To see Mr. Torres. But they didn't show her friend. Hello? Ano yun? Um, would you know kung nasan si Mr. Torres? Yung nagtuturo ng Philippine Studies? Ah, wala na po si Mr. Torres. Patay na siya? Hindi po, hindi pa siya patay. Ang ibig kong sabihin, wala na siya dito sa university. <laughs> ah, ganun ba? Ako sayang, siya pa naman pinunta ko dito. May surpresa sana ako, may pasalubong ako eh. Kung gusto niyo po, ibigay niyo na lang kay Sir Barry Torres. Apo His naman son? Sir Torres. Grandson? Barry Torres. Oh, oh, Sige, this might be another siya. surprise. Who's his grandson? 
Is he gonna be her love interest from now on? Oh my gosh, don't tell me it's Fidel. No, that does not sound like Fidel. Submit you sa next month, okay? Okay. Oh, see you tomorrow in class. Yes, sir. Bro, that would be so weird. They haven't shown his face yet. Uh, Mr. Torres, Mr. Barito. Oh my God, that's what I was thinking. It had to be one of them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell no Oh hell no That is so weird Why Why <laughs> Well Ibarra Gonzalo Torres talaga Ang real name ko pero Bari na lang ang itawag mo sa akin Oh my god, they even gave him the same type of glasses as uh, Professor Torres? Doctora Clay Infantes. Doctora! Ooh! Naging estudyante ako dati ni Mr. Torres. Yung lolo mo. Nice to meet you, Doctora Infantes. Naging estudyante ka pala ni lolo. Clay na lang. Eh, bakit ka ba naparito? Pagtuturo ka ba dito? Hindi. Uh, dadalawin ko sana siya eh. May pasalubong ako. Ah. Oh, sige. This is so weird. Bibigay ko na lang sa kanya to. Kaso lang eh, mas busy pa sa akin yun eh. I'm sure. Masad naman. Wala na pala dito si Mr. Torres sa PL eh. Pero paminsan pa, dalaw-daraw din siya dito. Oh, Maria Clara. Oh, boy, oh, boy. What the hell is going on? She'd be like, huh? Who? They're together? <laughs> Clarice. <laughs> Music teacher. The singer. Oh, boy. Yo, there has to be Fidel somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, the good ending happened in this time. Oh, I see. Nice to meet you, Doctor. The music is playing again, so I'm gonna mute it. Ah, she's like, why the hell is she hugging me? Who's this weirdo? Sorry. I best friend. Thank you, multiverse. Multiverse, exactly. It's a freaking multiverse. It's so weird. Happy ending. Congratulations. I'm so happy for the both of you. Sa career mo. Sa inyong dalawa. Sa baby. <laughs> we hope to see you again. Around. <laughs> Definitely. Did you guys hear the... Lagi akong dadalo dito. The rooster? Sorry, ah. Pwede yung pahag ulit sa inyo with consent? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. That's super cute. Weird, but cute. I mean, I put myself in their shoes. Like, who the hell is this girl that wants to hang us? <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Yo, where is the meeting with Fidel of this world? Oh, Papa, no, Dr. Infantes, uh, meron pa kasi kaming faculty meeting at baka kami mauli. Bibigay ko na lang to kay Lolo. Tapos oh, hindi kong bumisita ka rito. Sige, salamat. Ingat kayo. Take care, see you soon. Nice to meet you again. Hanggang sumuli. Makakaasa kayo. 
<laughs> Sige, mag-ingat kayo. Hmm, tayo na, baka mahuli pa tayo. <laughs> Let's go. Hmm, okay, I didn't expect that. That was a nice surprise. I was pleasantly surprised by that. So now she must be like, huh? If those two are in this world, there we go. Where are the other ones? Oh. Are they gonna have the final, final kiss on the mouth? In here? In this world? Maybe that's why they didn't kiss before. Oh my god. I am shooketh. Stop with the copyrighted music. Man, this episode is gonna be really weird for you guys. Meron bang bagong nakasulat? Wala. Wala ang bagong nakasulat. The bless lang yun, binibining kay. Alam mo, baka nakihiganti na yung katawan mo sa'yo. Dapat kasi, nagpapahinga ka pa minsan-minsan para lumakas ka ulit. Malapit ang maluto itong gulay, kailangan mo ng sustansya para mabuhayan ka dahil mahaba-haba pa ang lata. Tila, bubuti na ang aking pakiramdam. Ngayong pinagmamas ng gita na tila pinagluto ako ng aking inakamamahal na asawa. <laughs> asawa ka dyan. Pwede rin parang naman. You know what? I'm gonna upload this episode without <laughs> muting the copyrighted music and see if it's blocked or not. If it's not blocked, I'll just leave it. I don't care about the monetization. Because we all deserve the full experience here. Okay, <laughs> that. <laughs> Ganitong klaseng ginis ang gulay. Digla nga akong nabuhayan sa iyong masarap na pagmamahal. Sumptuous love. love. Wow. Ah. That's cute. Sa kaya makikita ko pa ulit? Kahit sa anong version. Kahit sa anumang paraan. So wait a minute. Kahit sa panaginip na lang ulit. She did see him in an episode, right? Sana But it was like a... They made it... They made it feel like he was a ghost or whatever. Just her imagination. Pakrums ka naman kay Fidel. But maybe it was him. Please. Maybe it was him. His version, I mean. In, in our world. Right? Pero siyempre, tuloy pa rin ang buhay. Tuloy pa rin ang laban. Kamusta ka na, tatay? Okay naman. Okay. Maayos naman ang pagkain po. Okay naman po, doktor. Very good. Check lang natin ulit, ha? Hindi kailangang maging isang national hero mythological figure o character sa isang nobela para makipagkapwa-tao patungo sa pagbabago at pag-unlad. 
basta galing ito sa puso. This reminds me of like Filipino commercials. Pero hindi naman sobra. Or like the GM uh, Network Christmas video. Tapos ito, nai, 50 milligrams every morning once a day pa iinom kay tatay ha. Tapos toy, makikiusap pa ko, iwas na sa matatabang pagkain, tsaka mamantika ha. <laughs> Hindi na tayo bumabata, dapat more on fruits, vegetables ha. <laughs> Masarap yun, thank you, thank you. Ingat po kayo. Sige. Ito na lahat, at ang alam ko, dito sa puso ko. Nasa paglikha ko ng pagbabago sa kwento ng buhay ko, ng bayan ko, na may mga kasama ako. Ay. That's Mr. Torres. Mr. Torres? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's asking her to, <laughs> to follow him to Fidel, right? I'm pretty sure. So that she could have her uh, happy ending. Because we all need a significant other, you know, to have a, a full life. That's not true. <clears throat> but what do you expect, right? It is uh, a telenovela. Words will magically appear. Oh, figuras. Figuras, cabalistas. Mystical figures? Are they trying to introduce the next telenovela called the Mystical, Mystical Figures? Maybe. Are all the fireflies going to transform into human beings? And they'd be like, we are the mystical figures, protectors of historical books, considered a multiverse. <laughs> oh no, is Fidel going to come out of there? <sighs> No freaking way. No freaking way. What the hell? It is Fidel. And he's one of the f mystical figures. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, he is one of them. What in the world is going on? Mahal. But he's not the real Fidel, right? That's a strange ending. Babu, Babu no more goodbyes. And they're not gonna kiss on the mouth, obviously, because if he's not the, the Fidel that she knows, they can't just kiss just like that. They have to build a new relationship. What? 
and they never kissed on the mouth. Okay, a tribute to you, Dr. Jose Rizal. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That was nice, man. That was nice. I really enjoyed this last episode, despite the flashbacks. And I was pleasantly surprised at the end by the... How, would, how can I even call them? The versions of them of this world right that was nice that was really nice and this fidel that just showed up right there is he one of the bookkeepers that's how i'm gonna call them like mr torres is he one of them and if so you know was he the fidel that we saw in the book because jose rizal was not writ did not write fidel in the book you know it was a it was a question mark. He was a question mark, Fidel. So maybe, maybe he played a... I don't know. It's a little confusing. But I like the fact that they went into this, like, multiverse type of idea. And it opens the door, you know, for other telenovelas. Um, you know, potentially about other books, historical books that were uh, impactful for the Filipino history. But, you know, we don't have even to stop there. You can go for sci-fi as well. Why not, you know? But maybe not because, I'm sorry, this is not a diss against Philippine cinema or whatever, but they just don't have the means, you know, the CGI effect for that. I mean, they have tried to make that TV show about the Japanese, you know, uh, anime or whatever. I saw the, the trailer for it and it's... I mean, I'm sorry, but the outfits, the CGI is not that great. So I wouldn't be for it. I'd rather they go back in time because they can actually recreate it. And here they did a decent job, except for the uh, the wigs. The wigs bothered me a lot. But this was a journey. I am so glad that I shared it with you. My gosh. <gasps> it would feel so odd you know to meet these actors if uh when when i go to the philippines and i know i haven't been to the philippines yet but as you saw i am a man of my word and i s told you guys that i will go to the philippines i will go to the philippines unfortunately things happened in my life that prevented me from going to the philippines but it will definitely definitely happen okay i'm just not gonna say when because it just keeps you guys guessing and they keep asking me i will tell you exactly not exactly when i'm not gonna tell you the day you know the exact day but i will tell you approximately when i will go when i buy my tickets meaning that it's for certain you know because they're very expensive tickets and uh if i buy them i have to go no matter what even if uh, a second pandemic starts but yeah like i said i will try to upload the full episode okay even with the music and, and stuff just hopefully it won't be blocked but yeah it was an honor again to watch this with you to experience this with you let me know in the comment section below your thoughts um and hopefully one day i will react to a filipino movie but i think i'm done with uh tv shows because there they are way too long and this is not my only channel i have a second channel and a third channel so it's a lot of work okay and it kept me very 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 busy but i, I really enjoyed it so yeah maraming maraming salamat po of course now this is the ultimate final phrase if you have missed my entire reaction of the Maria Clara at Ibarra telenovela you know what you have to do check it right here <laughs>